That, I would say, is uh, Dr. Ivan Sheeler. He's working in the B.J. Palmer Private Clinic, doing a, a complete blood count. All right, now, there he's uh, staining some blood samples for the differential uh, white count. Uh, that could be about 1937, 38. Dr. Kenneth Crone just walked into the laboratory. <laughs> All right, now, there's one of the interns in the clinic, and uh, I'm looking over his shoulder. <laughs> yeah, we have some more interns working in another bench. Is this when you first started at Walmart? Yeah. No, when I started? Yeah. Oh, no. No, this, uh, the clinic was uh, opened in August of 1935. <laughs> I went on the faculty in 1931. Hey. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> there I am. And assisting me uh, on my left, that was at that time uh, Edith Stoke who was enrolled as, as a student at Palmer College. Of course, after she graduated, I married her. Well, that, that was your wife. That's, yeah, that was my wife. When she was a student, she was Edith Stoke as a student. Oh yeah, there, there we're making a quantitative blood determination. And that's, of course, the centrifuge. Uh, putting in uh, urine specimens to be centrifugated. In preparation to do the microscopical examination of the urine. We wrote it on reports that went up to the front office for Dr. B.J. to review. This is the, uh, the x-ray in the B.J. Palmer private clinic. Dr. Ivan Sheeler is not only a graduate chiropractor, but also a graduate of the University of Iowa Medical College. And uh, Dr. Sheeler served along with Dr. A.B. Hender as the two physicians on the staff. Dr. P.A. Ramir 
was the head of the x-ray department of the uh, old Palmer School of Chiropractic. And he came over to the B.J. Palmer Clinic, of course, to do the x-ray work in the early days of the clinic. Dr. Coxon. See, in this picture, Dr. Palmer is reading the x-ray films. Uh, now, Dr. Coxon, in the previous part of the film, uh, made uh, preliminary examinations of the films. But then, then they were referred to Dr. Palmer because he made the final analysis, picked the major, which was to be adjusted. Well, as you can see, B.J. is marking the films himself to make his own personal analysis.
on the right, that's Dr. Laddie Heath, who's doing the uh, neurocalligraph reading. And of course, B.J. is looking at it also to make his own personal interpretation. Laddie Heath was, uh, I, if I remember correctly, a nephew of B.J. And uh, Laddie Heath was on the, a member of the faculty even before the opening of the B.J. Palmer Clinic. And then, of course, when the clinic was opened, why Laddie Heath became part of the staff of the B.J. Palmer Clinic. And the neurocalligraph readings were made in a shielded and grounded booth. The, the, that booth was completely shielded on all sides to prevent any rays from the exterior from coming into that booth, which, then, which might interfere with the neurocalligraph reading. Now, you see, following the adjustment, the brakes have all been cleared, and uh, that, was the, that was the objective. The neurocalligraph made a printed record showing the pattern with the brakes, and then following the adjustment, a neuro another neurocalligraph reading was made to show that the brakes had all cleared.